Hope of the day to you all. My name is Marcos Aurelius Pascual from 12 STEM 5B. Me and 10 of my fellow researchers conducted a study entitled The Impacts of Parallel Classes to the Academic Performance of the Grade 12 STEM 1P to 4P students of Finma University of Pangasinan. The following is our research video defense. Please enjoy. A pleasant day to everyone. My name is Marcos Aurelius Pascual and welcome to our video defense. So first of all, I would like to tell you all about our research title. It's called The Impacts of Parallel Classes to the Academic Performance of the Grade 12 STEM 1P to 4P Students of Finma University of Pangasinan Academic Year 2019 to 2020. So we chose this study because for when all of us, all of us researchers, when we first came to UPA, we were a little bit shocked and overwhelmed by the parallel system of teaching because from our last experience, we didn't have that kind of teaching. So we were fascinated by it. We got used to it and we got fascinated by it. That's why we chose this topic. And we chose this title because it's the most fitting one for this research study. So now let's go ahead and talk about our research problems. For our problems, we have three problems. It is stated at the part of our research in chapter one called the statement of the problems. Our first problem is we wanted to know the profile of the respondents regarding their age and gender. Of course, it's important because sometimes their performances can differ from their gender and also from their ages. And the second one is we wanted to know the impacts of parallel teaching to the academic performance of the great of STEM 1P to 4P students because it's our main topic. That's what that's the main thing that we wanted to know. And then lastly, we wanted to know if there is really a significant relationship between parallel teaching and the academic performance of the students because if there is no significant relationship or if there is even a significant relationship, it answers the whole research. Our motivation when we choose to conduct this study is because we want to know to prove if parallel classes have a good impact to the academic performance of those students who experience parallel classes as a teaching learning strategy. And also, we want to know if parallel classes can help students to enhance their own ability in learning. The result of the study provides information and knowledge to students about the impacts of parallel classes to their academic performance. This will serve as a blueprint or guidance to all the students but also to all stakeholders and parents for them to know if parallel classes are effective to students. This will also serve as a reference for future research. Lastly, the school administrators will be able to know whether the implementation of parallel classes in their own school is effective. The researchers prepared a survey that contains between yes or no and put in a check based upon their answer and use a self-made questionnaire as their research instrument. The purpose of the study is to the select their respondents and that they made sure that each participant corresponds to their predetermined criteria. The researcher collected the data by means of survey questionnaire which is composed of their age and gender. The researcher made a letter of approval for the SHS principal to conduct the study at Finma University of Pangasinan with 133 respondents from May 12, STEM 1 to 40 of the current academic year 2019 to 2020. We only have limited time for consulting a statistics teacher in regards to our chapter 4. We've been really patient to find someone who can help us but in the end we even if we waited so long we finally found an answer and a statistics advisor so that's our solution we've just been patient about it that's why we've gone to be practical on our chapter four our research study has a connection to our society because the school used a parallel class learning program to make students more independent and to make them explore more of their abilities in learning improve the future leaders in our journey. The motivation why we choose to conduct this study is because we want to know if prior classes have a good impact to the academic performance of those students who experience this form of teaching. 
We also want to know if prior class can help students to enhance their ability in learning and to improve and explore their knowledge or skills of thinking. And also, we want to prove our opinions on how on how the prior class is effective to make the students to be more independent. The scope of our study focuses on the impacts of prior classes to the academic performance of grade 12 students, STEM 1 with the purview of Pima University of Pangasinan. And the respondents that we gathered are 130 respondents. We totally gathered this using the scoping formula. One of the limitations that we encountered is the limitation of the related literatures and studies because in our review of related literature and studies, we were only allowed to include literatures and studies from the years 2009-2019. So it was um, really hard to search them for our chapter two. Our research questions are interesting and important because as a researcher, these questions are the ones that bring out all of the data and discovery needed for our research topic. And as a researcher fascinated by our topic, these are the first things that pop into your head. There are two most important sources in our study. First is the last Lab School of the Open School that we Principal of Colegio de San Bartolomé de Novaliches. More learning with less talking, no tutoring, and less homework. With more learning means that they are more focused on their academic studies without the need of tutoring. And less homework to not be overwhelmed. These two sources help us in conducting our study by giving credible information about the impacts of parallel classes on students and how it helped them their academic performance by learning to work independently. The research methodology used in conducting our study is quantitative. We chose this because it is the required method for our practical research in grade 12. Students are from the grade 12 STEM students 20 to 40, and in total there are 132 respondents. We use the simple random sampling as our sampling method and survey for the measurements. In regards to our measuring instruments, we use two of them. First one is the Slovin's formula. We use it for the calculation of the exact number of our respondents. Second one is the frequency in percentage distribution. We use it in chapter 4 wherein we use it in the table of our questionnaires. Based on the data gathered, the overall results showed that the relationship between parallel classes to the student is effective. Parallel class can help students to prevent problems on their certain activity, and it makes them more independent in their own lives. The original thing about our outwork is the purpose of developing critical thinking that makes students more creative by doing their own comprehension and writing skills. The strongest part of our research study is the background of the study, because this is where we are most this is where the readers will be can understand what the study is all about. And as for our weakest part, we have Today's issue of Film University of Pangasinan, we highly recommend them to continue the implementation of parallel class learning system. And to other academic institutions, we recommend that they should also start implementing the parallel class learning system in their respective schools. The importance of our studies that we are we are aware of how effective the parallel class is to the academic performance of grade 12 students, especially from STEM 1B to 4B, and also we gain more knowledge about the sets. Oh, my God.